Awesome is a low code platform where you can build things visually. But in case you have to write your own code, in this case, if you want to write your own scripts, that is possible too. In this video, I will show you how you can add your own JavaScript into the applications. So this is my service studio where I have a reactive web application with an entity called customer, these attributes, and I have built the customer listing and detail screen by drawing and dropping this entity. To start off with writing your own scripts, you should be at the interface tab. And here you will notice at the end, there's a folder called scripts. You are able to import your own scripts as well as create new ones. I just give it a name, customers. And then you can open it up to write your own script. In my case, let's write a function to return the product of two numbers, P1 and P2. It has the IntelliSense and also in case you press Control and space, it helps you with that. P1 times P2. That's it. I think the function is correct. I don't have any error. If there are any problems, this uh, writer, the editor will let you know. Let's close it off. Now, an important step to include this piece of function in the custom in the customer script file into your screens, you have to go to those screens and make sure while you're selecting the screen in the properties of this screen, you do include these scripts. So there's a section here called required scripts. And if you expand it, you will see all the scripts coming in from the scripts folder. You can include more than one. There's no restriction. It's up to you. Now, to be able to call those functions, let me uh, modify the screen a bit. So I'm going to add a new column. And in this column, let's include an icon. Icon could be anything that's not important. But I'm linking this icon to a client action. That's where I can write my own uh, client side script. So link on click is the one. And in the editor of this client action, you will notice there is a widget for JavaScript. In this JavaScript functions, if you open it up, you are able to include input parameters and output parameters. Let's just add few. So I would definitely need a number one. I would also need a number two. Make sure the data types are correct. I can also add one more for customer name. Just to show you that we are able to reference to the things on the screen and then we can add an upper parameter on number three so there you go i have defined uh, three input parameters number one number two and customer name and an output parameter called number three so let's get started by calling these functions so first of all let's just display the customer name in there and second we assign a value to number three which could be calling the function that we wrote earlier in this script file. My function and we pass it number one. You can notice that IntelliSense is still available. And number two. And that's it. So uh, the last step, uh, we will get an output from this uh, in uh, that we can capture in another field. But here also you'll notice the moment we have declared those input parameters, now the function is prompting us to provide those values. What I can do is, I don't have any numbers on the page, but I might be able to use the customer ID as number one. And number two, let's just time it's by two. Customer name can be the name of the customer that we're getting from the list. There you go. And this will be shown in the alert, JavaScript alert. And thereafter, let's uh, display a message where we can display the product of those two numbers. So message, we can display the output of JavaScript number three. And that's it. Let's go ahead and publish the application to see how it looks. Okay. There you go, the customer listing screen and our icons here against each of the row items for the customer. If I click on any of these icons, I see the customer name that is coming from the JavaScript alert on the page itself. And then if I click OK, I'm expecting a, uh, a message uh, pop up to be displayed. That's displays true. And if I, that's the product of uh, row number one and multiplied by two. If I click on row number four, which is ID of this field is four, it should give me the product as eight. And there you go. So our function is working fine. And that's a good example of how you can use JavaScripts in our systems. Thanks for watching.